Hello. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So this morning I woke up and I found this sitting outside my door. Now I know what it is, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna open it, show you what it is, and then explain to you what I'm gonna do with it. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get it open. Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay, so this is an ABS plastic hexagonal grill. Um, the grill openings are around one inch by a half inch. And I thought that this would look really nice in place of the crossbars at the bottom of the premium grill. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna get it to mount yet, but I've done other things that I didn't know how I'd do it and it worked out pretty good. So I'm here's to hoping <laughs> that uh, this goes to plan too. But before I do anything, let me uh, bring you in a little closer so you can look at the actual detail of this grill because up close it is really really nice. So let me go ahead and zoom in for you real quick. Alright, so if you look at this grill you'll see that it's got little tiny ridges in between the hexagons that just give a little bit more dimension and depth to this grill than some of the ones, some of the other ones that I've seen on eBay. Um, so yeah, obviously I just gave that away. I got this on eBay, like I get everything else. I wanna say it was like $32 with a coupon shipped to the house. Um, so all in all, pretty good deal. So now I'm going to get the uh, front bumper taken off the car, get the factory grill removed, and up here on the table beside the aftermarket mesh here, and see what we're working with. So, stand by. So based on the size of the factory grill, it looks like if I cut this grill in half, um, in the event I mess up one side, I'll still have another half to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and measure this thing down the center and then go from there. So I'm not going to damage the original grill. In the event that this doesn't work out, I still have a grill that I can put back in place and rock until I figure something else out. But what I am going to start working on, I think I figured out how I'm going to mount this grill. So let me get down here and show you. Each one of these clips has a tooth on the edge. Right there you can see it. And right there you can see it that held the factory grill in place. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up this grill to the best of my ability. It's about right there like that. Get to where these holes are centered inside the hexagons of the grill. So that way when I push this in, these clips have something to grab onto 
to hold this grill in place. It's gonna take me a long time, definitely more than today. So for now, um, I'm gonna put the bumper back on, ride with no lower grill. I know the risks of that, you know, but there's enough stuff up there in the front that I think I should be fine. I only drive six to eight miles up to work a day. So until I get this grill done, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put the bumper back on the car so I can continue to drive to work and all that stuff as needed and work on this over time by using the factory grill as my template to get all of the points measured out and plastic welded. So I'm going to get this car thrown back together again and I will work on this a little bit later. Okay, so I'm back at it with a game plan. So first thing I did, I made a template. The only portion that's actually visible through the grill to the out to the front is this inner portion. All this outer stuff is what's mounted to the back side. But I need to get this trimmed down to look somewhat like that before I can start marking all the areas where these clips are mounted from the factory bumper points. So first things first, I've got it laid out. I've got all my points marked for, in marker where I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna make my cuts, get this cleaned up and smoothed out, and then I'll go from there. Got it trimmed out nice and even. Um, my battery died on me, so off camera, I went ahead and run around it with the uh, sanding, sanding disc and smoothed up the edges. So that's all good. I've gotten my marker and I went through all the areas that are marked as where the clips run through on the factory uh, grill. I'm gonna go ahead and take this template off and cut out the areas that I annotated to be removed in marker. And then I'll continue on from there. All right, another day, welcome back. So I, uh, I didn't record the rest of the uh, trimming of the grill insert because the chirping of the bugs last night was driving me crazy. And I really didn't wanna to have to have that in the video. So what you see is the grill put in place i um, not really sure if I'm going to leave it at this stage just yet, but it does look really good as it is. Um, let me take you around to the back side and show you what is going on. So, like I said, I went through and I found all the areas that the clips came through. And I notched those areas out, so that way when I slip the grill on, those notches held into the solid plastic of the grill like the original grill did and keeps it locked down in place so I mean in all honesty I kind of think I'm done this was a short-term thing until I get the new bumper installed and uh, I think overall it turned out really well. So uh, if you've liked what you've seen so far, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next one.